Come join us as we go RVing, cruising, and visiting Disney. Welcome, Welcome to, to Retired Life Ollie Style. Hey everyone, how are you today? This is Sunday in June, is it 5th? June 5th. June 5th. So we just wanted to bring you guys in on a little conversation we've been having. Um, we're going to go look at RVs today. We're up here in Charleston, I'm working uh, up here. So there is a um, camping world and an RV1. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go look at some RVs um, because we're trying to decide whether or not we want to downsize. We have a Class A and we love it, but for travel experiences and... and we've had it for a long time, yes. as you all know, if you watch any of our other videos, <clears throat> we've had it for a while. <clears throat> yeah, so, and, like you know, 17 years at this point. Yeah, So, but it's been great to us. Yeah. But now we're just thinking about maybe, you know, the kids are not with us anymore, it's just us. And we're thinking about uh, maybe downsizing a little bit. And, going with something a little smaller right and i you know we want to start traveling cross country as you guys know gas prices are astronomical and we've had some maintenance issues right so getting tires on a class a everett can speak more about this than i can yeah it, it just we really haven't had maintenance issues it's just when you know you got to make sure your tires are up and tires on a class a are extremely expensive mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, um, and even something as simple as an oil change, and I do the oil changes myself still, um, but um, I, I do have a family member that has a Class A, and he's a little older, and, um, you know, he doesn't get under there to do the oil changes, and he was just telling me the other day how expensive it is to take it somewhere to have the oil changed. So we're thinking of maybe, you know, some, you know. And that's, we've been very blessed and lucky not to have mechanical issues. But again, if we have a mechanical issue, we have to find like an RV repair or a truck shop to get it fixed, as opposed to a Class A can go to any... You mean a Class C? I'm sorry, a Class C can go to just about any mechanic because it's a regular engine. So, or, or a Class B. Or, or a Class B. Or a camper van. Eh, I'm in eh, on that. We're going to look at them and see how we feel about it. Can't give so, away, can't give away the store, man. Can't let them know too much. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, we don't know what we're looking at. We're looking and we'd like some opinions, you know. We're getting older and we'd like to have a little bit less, you know, cost-wise maintenance and working-wise maintenance and drivability that um, we can go across country and up and down, you know, mountain passes and, and things like that without having to you know, worry about getting over it with the vehicle and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yeah that's... Some, some of the other YouTubers that we follow and some of them that are our favorites, mm -hmm. they've downsized. Yes. And um, so we've been kind of paying attention to them, paying attention mm -hmm. to how they like it and, their, you know, the, the pros and the, and the cons. So we're just kind of out here kind of looking ourselves to see uh, maybe if it's something we might want to do. Yes. Yeah, so, um, like I said, if you guys have downsized or you've thought about it, please give us your opinion. Um, we know what it's like to camp in different vehicles as we've been doing it a while. We've been through tents. We started out with a one-room tent. Then we got fancy and went to a two-room tent. <laughs> and then we had a pop-up. And then we had a travel trailer and moved on to the uh, Class A. The only thing we have not had is a Class C or a Class B. But we did have a conversion van. So I think that's about as close to a Class B as we could get. We did not camp in it, um, but we did do a lot of traveling in it with our children. And that was a nice way to travel, let me tell you. Right? Yeah. That was nice. Uh, if you ever, they even make them anymore. I don't even know if they make conversion vans. But if they do, and you have an opportunity, it's, it's a nice way to travel. So anyway, without belaboring the point, um, that's what we're about to do. We are about to go to Camping World. And we're going to try to figure this out. So stay tuned, keep your fingers crossed, and uh, the Ollies may have a new way to travel. So first up is the Four Winds. Again, we're inside Camping World. Four Winds. It is 31 foot with a slide out. All right, let's check this out. 
if it's very comfortable as you can see. This is the one I saw yesterday that I think would fit our needs or very, very close to it. See the seatable cab? Like that's so much easier. Nice wood cabinets, pull out couch. Oh, look at that fridge. Now see, that's what I don't like, because sometimes the fridge is too close to the bedroom. It almost seems like your kitchen's in the bedroom, but this is not. I don't know, y'all. I told you you'd like this one. Yeah, this isn't bad, actually. Okay, here's the thing. Let's go look at this bathroom. Bedroom's nice. Looks like it might be a queen-size bed, which is what we have now. Nice cabinet space. Ah, nice big TV. I don't know. Might be a winner winner chicken dinner. Closet space. I do lose some closet space. I've been lucky enough, guys, that I have like a full There's wardrobe. Space here too. That's true. Yeah, there we go. You have to think to hang. Okay. Clothes. Well, for oh, short shortest, people. Though. All right, let's see what this bathroom looks like. Oh, and I think that's a porcelain commode. Mm -hmm. It is Most of porcelain all, commode. They're all coming with the porcelain now, and it's the you step on it to flush. And here, I'll let you take me in the shower. No problems. Oops, well, a little bit, but pretty good. I mean, you know. For a class C, not bad, not bad. Now you're taller than I am, but yeah. Okay, all right guys, I'm gonna get off here and be back. Next up is the Gemini. It's sort of like a class B plus. Tell you what's nice in this heat is that we can come see these things on the inside and then here's another four winds we're gonna take a look at this one that has two slides interesting on a class c guys i'm not hating it i'm telling you the truth the one that we just came out of this one here has a full slide on the driver's side so that whole piece slides out. I'm not hating it. I'm telling you the truth, I'm not. Okay. All right. So now we have a camper van, right? So 2022, let's go look at this puppy. Obviously gonna be very easy to drive because it's a van. Nice seating area, but oh baby. Whoops. See, I'm tripping over my own feet in here. This is teeny tiny. Here is the bathroom. So this is called a wet bath? I think, let, me, let me see. Okay. Yes, this is a this is a wet bath. Okay. So this is a wet bath, which I don't quite get, but hey, let me see if I can give you some more light. Ah, here we go. So there's the commode, there's your shower. I guess this flips down is the sink. Oh my gosh, there's your sink. Yikes, okay. All right, well, here's your kitchen area. Oh, okay, got a little light now. Kitchen area is cute, it's cute. And this is the the bed area. I'm actually going to walk out the back door and then I will. Oh, okay. So this is the back area of it. So I guess this would fold over. You put the cushions together to make one big bed or you can have two separates and have two twins. I mean, you know, I'm sure this is easy to travel in. Don't you think so, Everett? Yes, I do. I think it'd be very easy to travel over mountain passes and that kind of thing. Livability, 
and um, comfortability. I'm going to have to say that was me getting up off the back so we can see that that's easy access to. Anyway, a uh, little bit cramped. So I guess this would be considered the dinette. Television. Oh, skylight. That's cute. And that's it. What do you think? I mean, it, it, it's nice. It should be good for if we were just, say, going to go on like a cross country trip and we just wanted like you know a place to stay and sleep like overnight or two nights but i think living in this or going on vacation in this and staying for like two three weeks at a time um for me it's too cramped yeah i think for an overnighter like you're saying if you're traveling somewhere and you're going to be spending the night in it as opposed to going to a hotel yeah. i could do it yes but to take this and say, I'm going to go on a two-week camping trip or wherever, and I'm going to stay in this, I don't think that this would be for us. Okay, moving on. We're going to go across the way to this one. Okay, so here we go into Freedom Elite. Easy access in. Nice wide open, I have to say. Comfortable seating. There's the driver's cab. There's a TV up here. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's going to be a no for Dawn. I feel too claustrophobic. Really? Being closed in like that. Yeah, I wouldn't like that at all. It. No, it's like a closet. <laughs> it's not like a closet. It's a closet. Yeah. The bathroom's nice too. Yeah, bathroom's a nice size bathroom, I have to say. Bathroom's good. And I know I keep bringing up the bathroom. Not like I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. But when you're in there, you want to be comfortable taking a shower. Like, you don't want to feel like you're in a closet. Good storage space. This is the type refrigerator that we have on our other one. And the Class A that we have now. Same fridge. Yeah, definitely same fridge. So that's okay. Um, yeah, nice big dinette. Dinette's nice size. True. Got the couch over here. True. But again, as compared to the other one that we looked at... I'm going to say no. Okay. Up to the next one, guys. Hold on. Okay. So we're done with Camping World. Um, we saw a nice Class C that we both liked. Now we're going to go over to RV1. Yep. And um, I hope you're enjoying the tours of some of these vehicles and some of these RVs. Because um, it's fun to do, you know. So here we go. Come with us over to RV1. First one up. Okay, this is different. Here's your little couch set up. Here's the TV over the sink. That's a tiny bed. Yeah. Bed's in two pieces, y'all. I guess it folds up because it slides out. Bathroom. Hmm. Decent size, but tiny. You know, you can tell this is not as well made. Not as well made at all. You can tell, like, this is pretty much, like, almost like... What is it called? Press board? Yeah. Yeah. The other one was uh, like Corian. But this is not as well made at all. Um, on to the next one. 
This is the Integra. I mean, talk about seating. That's enough seats for everybody in the house. Same exact setup, basically. It's just that it has more seating. So you've got a love seat and then two recliners. Nice size kitchen area. But again, you know, I'm not into the refrigerator being so close to the bedroom. I don't know why. It's a pet peeve. This has a bath and a half. Oh, is it? Okay. This is the full bathroom in the back, mm -hmm. which is impressive. This is impressive. Oh, king it's bed. hot in here. Yes, king size bed. Ooh. Half bath. And I bet this is a washer and dryer. Nope, but it's a washer and dryer hookup, I'm sure. No, it's not. Nope. It's just a linen closet. But nice, though. I mean, nice linen closet. Is there a washer and dry hookup at all back there? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. His and her closets, though. Mm -hmm. That's nice. All right. All right, guys. Here we are at RV1. And I think that we have made a decision. Right? You let's, show you, let's show you what we came up with. <laughs> You want to get in the video? There you go. <laughs> it won't take long. This is cute. Obviously, we're joking. But honestly, for a person who's traveling alone or have a smaller vehicle that wants to wants to travel, this is pretty cute. Not bad at all. It's got a little kitchen area in the back. Obviously, lights. Here's your stove, right? Sink. It's called the spray port, so I guess that's where the you'd hook your hose up to. Gotcha. Okay. And then this would be your cooler. Keep your food in. Not bad. Again, you know, you're a couple who likes to rough it a little bit and have something with some air conditioning. There's the awning not bad and I'm sure this can anything can tell this here's your stabilizers cool all right guys all right hey there Ali traveling fam hey everybody all right so you guys saw the video uh, we are in the market for a new RV and we're just kind of shopping around kind of throwing our hat uh, into the ring we do a little shop it's gonna take some time we're not gonna pull the trigger anytime soon no, I think our last rig, and we've had her for a long time. I'm going to miss her. Um, but I think it took us two years. It did. Um, we went to RV shows. We yeah. did private shopping. We went on RV Trader. RVTrader.com. And we just looked until we finally fell in love with one. So I think we're probably going to do the same thing. Yeah. We yeah. Kinda, we're kind of in for the long haul. We're not people that buy something for a couple of months or a couple of years and then move on. No. So... Whatever we get, we're going to have it for, we're gonna have it for, have a, it for a little bit. Yeah. So you saw, uh, we're really not interested in the Class Bs. I know we showed you that. Yeah. It's really not, not our thing. It'd be good to travel, yeah. like if you're going across country, just to stay in like quickly overnight. But to go on like um, long haul type uh, uh, camping trips, mm -hmm. so to speak, eh, it's not our style. Um, it's good for some people, but not for us. But I think we do like the Class Cs now, right? Yeah. Plus, I don't think that with the Class Bs, we'd be able to bring our toys, you know? We've got mm. the golf cart, we've got the bikes and all that kind of stuff, and I just don't think it would have the power to, you know, bring all that stuff. And that was another consideration when we started looking to yeah. make sure, because we purchase these things, we want to be able to use them. Right. So that was another consideration. But, yeah, the Class Bs are a little small. Yeah. So, uh... It just kind of wraps up this little um, short video. It wasn't really too short. It's about 20 minutes long. Uh, but that was our time in Charleston. This does wrap up the Charleston 
episodes, right? I think there's no more in Charleston. I, I think don't that's think it. So. Yeah, I think that's I it. I think we're done. So, yeah, so remember, Dawn worked up in Charleston. We had the tire blowout. Uh, you know, the whole thing, not blowout, but I had the flat tire, mm -hmm. uh, the whole nine yards. And we showed you guys a little bit of downtown Charleston. We had a lot of fun there. And now we're, we're moving on. So, and that was our shopping. So, this wraps up Charleston. Just wanted to kind of, you know, kind of talk about it a little bit. And um, stay tuned for our up coming next episodes or see where we travel next Yeah, because we have some some good stuff coming up sure do. um so that being said thanks for watching really appreciate you thank you to our new subscribers and you guys that have been hanging out with this whole time we really appreciate you yeah. and we just want to say welcome to everyone and thank you yeah. so much and please if you like the video or you think it's halfway decent please give it a thumbs up it does help with the uh, YouTube uh, algorithm and if you want to follow along more for those of you maybe catch this for the first time uh, hit that uh, subscribe button don't forget to subscribe yes oh and also last thing drop us some comments down below about what you think about what we showed you some of the RVs that we showed you and what you have uh, maybe you're in the market maybe you already have something and give us your thoughts if you have something give us your experiences with it too we'd love to hear um, about that I agree. And also, just a little tidbit, we also have an Instagram account and a Facebook. So if you'd like to see what we're up to currently, because um, these videos kind of lag a little bit, if you want to see where we are currently, go to our Instagram or our Facebook. You'll yeah. be able to find us what, with what we're up to right At now. At that point. All right. We will see you all. See you soon. All right. When we wake. Now it's time for us to get to get. Get to getting. See y'all. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And please ring that bell so you know when new content drops. We know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking.